Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jay Ben Postal, and today at the grill, we're making a juicy, and delicious smoked eye of round to make some delicious roast beef. And just like always, I'm going to put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And on that, let's get into the cook. So today is all about roast beef. And so for me, when I think of roast beef, I often think about fall and winter time when the weather is a little bit cooler and we want some of that comfort food that's just a bit heavier with some mashed potatoes or what have you. Uh, but roast beef is also one of those really interesting cuts that you can dress up for your holiday feast or you can dress it down and make it into sandwiches for your more everyday meal. And so to prepare this cut, we're first of all gonna remove all of this fat and silver skin that's on here. And so I'm gonna take my uh, Dell Strong bony knife and I'm just gonna start to get underneath this fat. We're gonna try to take uh, just the fat off. We don't wanna take any of that uh, meat off. And we're gonna save all this fat and we'll use it for something else later on. So you can just get your knife under there, pull it back. Okay, so with our eye of round all trimmed up, let's go ahead and start to season it. And so I'm gonna start by placing some of this rosemary infused olive oil onto the outside. And this is just gonna give it a little bit of that savory uh, flavor that we're looking for. And it's also gonna be a little bit of a binder for our rub to stick to. And so for our rub today, I'm gonna to be using my Mad Cow Beef Rub, and this stuff goes really good on beef. But if you don't have this, I'll put a link in the description box where you can pick it up. But you can also just use a salt, pepper, garlic blend that goes really well on on roast like this. And so go ahead and hit uh, all of the sides uh, with a nice generous coating of our barbecue rub. Flip it over. Oh guys, this smells so good already. <clears throat> just as this beef is sitting on the table, I can smell that beef aroma. And now this rub is just coming through uh, with that pepper that's in there. Oh. All right, that looks great. And so guys, there's not much left to do to prepare this roast. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get the Weber kettle set up for cooking around 225 degrees. So to set up our grill today, I placed in about 15 briquettes into the Sloan sear and I got those coals fully lit. Once those coals were fully lit, I then filled up the remainder of the Sloan sear about two thirds of the way full. I then closed the lid and let it come up to temperature. Our grill has finished coming up to temperature and it's sitting between 225 and 250 degrees. And this is sort of that range that we're looking for. And so let's go ahead and get this eye of round onto the grill. All right, we got that on there. We're also gonna put in a digital thermometer into the thickest part of this roast. There we go. I'm also gonna add in a couple chunks of hickory wood just to add to that smoky flavor that we're looking for. And then I'm gonna close the lid and we're gonna begin smoking this around 225 to 250 degrees until it reaches that internal temperature that we're looking for. And so for this roast today, I'm shooting for around 127 degrees before we pull it off to do the final sear. Our six pound eye of round roast has now been smoking for just under two hours and we've reached that internal temperature of 127 degrees. I haven't opened the lid, I haven't done anything to it. And so let's open up the grill now and take a look. Ooh, look at this, oh man. It's got some really nice color on it and that rub has set up really nicely. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna prepare our coals to do a reverse sear. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, push around all of these uh, coals first. <laughs> 
And so what we're doing here is we're mixing those red hot briquettes with the unlit briquettes that are still in the Sloan Sear. And we're gonna let those come up to temperature. We want those roaring hot. And while we wait a few minutes for those coals to get fully lit, let's go ahead and make a horseradish mayo. And so to do that, I'm going to take uh, two parts mayo. And then I'm gonna grab uh, some of this coarse mustard. I'm gonna place in one part of that. And then again, one part of this horseradish. I'm also gonna take a little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna put some fresh cracked pepper into this. Then we'll just give this a mix together. All right, we'll give this a little taste. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Okay, so let's check up on our coals. We have some nice heat rolling on that right now. So I'm gonna add in uh, the door section of my Easy Spin grate. Place that over the top. Remove the uh, thermometer here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sear the outside of this roast for about 30, 40 seconds per side. I'm just gonna keep rolling it around uh, to get a nice sear crust on the outside. This is gonna give that Maillard reaction, which is a ton of extra flavor for this roast. So during this step, you wanna just keep watching your roast. You don't want it to burn. You just wanna get some nice color on all the sides. Okay, so after about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes max, I'm gonna remove this from the heat. And guys, it has an incredible color, uh, but let's just double check our internal temperatures. This is reading 131 degrees, which is the perfect temperature for what I'm looking for. And so I'm gonna let it rest now for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll come back to get ready for the taste test. All right, so I let our roast rest for about 10 minutes now, and that beefy aroma that's just coming off of this eye of round is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna use my Adele Strong slicing knife to slice this, because when we slice this, we want those slices to be as thin as possible. And so let's go ahead and slice it right down the middle and see what it looks like. There we go. Oh, oh, oh wow, look at that. It's incredibly juicy. It's a perfect medium rare. And guys, I know this is gonna taste phenomenal. Okay, let's get some slices out of this. And again, we wanna go as thin as possible. All right, we have some of our slices and I'm telling you, this is so juicy. Okay, I'm gonna go for a taste test with this guy right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm telling you, that just melts in your mouth. There is no resistance at all. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, the beefy flavor that comes from this Eye of Round Roast is phenomenal. It makes for the perfect roast beef, especially when it's smoked on the Weber kettle like this. You can taste that barbecue rub that we put on there with that pepper and that bit of spice just coming through. It's perfectly seasoned, incredibly juicy, and I'm telling you, this is a winner for sure. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a sandwich out of this. I have my bottom bun. I'm gonna throw on a few of these slices. 
and I'm just keeping it simple today. But again, if you wanted to uh, use this as a dinner uh, feast, go ahead and make some potatoes and uh, some other veggies to go along with it. Uh, today I'm keeping it simple. Throw some of this horseradish mayo on here. Put that top bun on. Oh man, look at this. Now this is a sandwich that I need to dive into. Mmm. That's so good. It's smoky, juicy, and has incredible flavor. This roast beef is gonna be a hit for sure. Hey, if you wanna see more barbecue videos just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Also, special thank you to all my patrons out there who help make this channel what it is. Until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.